Hey guys, I'm here with Bernard Hus. And you got first place at OTS, right? At the World Championship event, yeah. And what did you play? Shit, best deck of the format right now, you bell. Oh. Um. So uh shit, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to my team, Team Savage. Um, give a shout out to my my favorite stepson, B Randon. And then um, another person that was helping me cook the list, uh, my boy Eric, my boy Sal, and then my boy Cody Bartz. He sucks, but uh, you know, shout out to him. Yeah. <laughs> you also shout out your favorite Yugi tuber too, right? <clears throat> hey, shout out Team Sakurasu. You that's, be killing this shit. You that's exactly know. how it is. All right, let's get right into this deck profile here. Right, for sure. So for starters, I'm going to just start off with the hand traps. Yep. Most generic one, three Ash, three Baylor, three Imperm. Three Niv, three Droll, because I don't want to get beat by a Ritual Beast player. <laughs> one Mag, one Druid Worm. So those are the hand traps. Um, 20 cards, right? <clears throat> I believe it's 17. So here we got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 17. 17. Oh, you're right. 17 hand traps. Yu Gi Oh players can't read and they can't count. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we do a quick match, quick match. <laughs> and then, all right, so for the deck, uh, best starter in the deck, three, C C three Samsara D Lotus, best starter in the deck. Um, and then I play three Dark Beckoning Beasts. I don't play the Chaos one. It was like maybe one time I missed having it, but other than that, Dark Beckoning Beast is insane when you open it as well. Especially with Gates at one, you know, you kind of want to see this. Um, I played two Grave Squirmer. Uh, with us losing the two gates, I think this is good to have as well as it helps you dodge the gates if you open up, if you hard open it, it helps you dodge like Imperms or Baylors. And it's just good because if you do the uh, area leader, you can dump another one just to have more follow up with your Ubel monsters. Uh, I played two Spirit. Um, most of the time when I'm playing, sometimes if I make the rank 10, I miss having another one in deck for the Phantom to be able to pop to bring out another Ubel with Ubel also being under the Barudas. So I play two of that, one Ubel, one Terran Carnet. Um, I think that's the correct ratio. You don't really want to play more or play less. I know some people cut this, hey, more power to them. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Unchain package, cards cracked. Definitely see why it's at one. <laughs> and then Fiend Smith, three engraver, one Lurry. Uh, and then going on to the spells, um, four field spells. Probably also the best card in the deck, card in Sam. You always kind of want to see it in any of your opening combos, as well as opening that. And another starter just makes like most of your end boards insane. Um, I played one Nightmare Pain, one Gates, RIP to the other two, one one for one, and then um, another tech I was doing was I was playing two track uh, because just seeing this also helps you to get into your combo if you don't open up a way to combo. Um, also being able to shuffle back the Lurie and having another track off of the Engraver is also kind of nuts. Um, and then I'm playing the Pop Unchained Trap. Um, I think this is just better than the Monster Reborn one. Um, it's under Dark Ruler, it gives you like three or four more interruptions uh, as to where the Reborn kind of doesn't. Uh, going into the extra deck. Dean Smith package, kind of standard. Um, <coughs> honorary Dean Smith cards. Uh, now that Apple and the uh, Lacrimar are gone. These cards just help you get into combo. This one being able to dump any fiend is insane. This one making a, just opening a tract or an engraver just be able to get you to your, your bell engine is also just kind of insane as well. Um, play the Mon Muckraker. You know, it helps with the area leader. It helps with, can special summon any fiend. You know, well not any, but you know, you get yeah. the gist of it. Uh, SP. SP does what SP does. Um, I play the Verutus, the Caesar. Um, I only play two Phantom, because uh, I like some of the other cards that are coming up more. Um, I might go back to playing three, but the, but the two also worked out very nicely for, my, for me that day. Um, shout out to Lucas Sacco. 
I got on the uh, little combo video of him doing the two, two Yama, uh, the go and deer combo. I really like this combo, this package a lot. Being able to, you know, keep one for follow up and then have one to extend your plays on your turn one is just also very nice. And then the last piece of it, the Unchained Soul of Rage. Is there anything in the main deck you wish you had or you didn't play? <clears throat> um, so I did switch my deck list like the next day after I won the event. Um, the only thing I probably would do moving forward is play a second pain. Um, I cut the second squirmer the next day, but I definitely would not recommend that. I like having the two squirmer and then the two pain. I think those cards are kind of cracked. Um, so I already have so I already have an updated list past this one that I'm gonna play with. But those were some of the changes I made. Um, the extra deck, I wanna cut uh, Desiree, but like in certain matchups, the, the card is just insane. Um, so I'm not sure if I cut that like I want to and possibly just play a third Phantom or maybe even an Almirage for the Dark Beckoning Beast. But uh, other than that, there really isn't much that I would change in the main or the extra deck. Uh, going into the side deck, um, first card is because at these Chicago locals, there's some players that you wouldn't want to be caught dead without having a time card for them. I'm not going to say no names, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be caught dead without a time card. Um, I played three talents in the side. Um, this card probably was the worst card in my side, to be honest, because 10 times out of 10, either going first or second, I really never wanted to put this in um, and didn't really have the slots decided in for going first and had better cards I wanted to put in going second. So this one, I probably wouldn't keep in there going forward. Uh, three of the octopus, cards cracked. I mean, the little pseudo maxi at home. And then back row hate, had to respect Runic, had to have stuff for the mirror match, got to get rid of pain. Um, the field spell, stuff for Tempai hitting the field spell. Uh, so always just got to have a quick play form of back row hate for certain decks. And then my going first cards were two judgment and one anti spell. This ended up winning me my finals uh, that day. Um, flipped it. It was against the Ubel Mirror match. He played that spell card, Monster Reborn. He was forced to chain that. Um, I knew that he was on Super Poly, and I didn't have anything on my board that was Super Polyable, but by the time this resolved, it didn't matter, and he said he had a handful of spells, so it was GG's. <laughs> judgment says Judgment, um, you know, for Dark Ruler, even the Talons. Anything after I've like exhausted uh, the negates that I have on board, this is just like the last thing. Like if they have anything else after I burn through all of those negates or interactions. All right, and what did you win today? Uh, so I won this little first place medal. You know what I'm saying? First place. If you're not first, you're last. Shout out Ricky Bobby. Um, got this over at uh, <coughs> Forever Collectibles. You know I love going over there. And then I got the little envelope. Not moving it yet. Waiting for that shit to go up. <laughs> and then also shout out to my boy Craig for the field set. Jungle Dweller. Go crazy. All right, how many rounds did you play? Uh, we played five rounds. Um, my first round was Infernoble. Round two was Memento. Round three was Whitewoods. Round four, shout out to my boy B. Randon on Ritual Beast. And then round five was Ubel. Um, also, I know some people that commented on it. Um, if you look at my list, it's the current ban list. Uh, the, the events that I went to, they didn't play with the world's ban list. So it, that kind of throws some of y'all off. That's why my list is what it is. Okay, I got you, I got you. Anything else you want to say before we close out here? I know that should, that should be it. Oh, oh, to smash the like button and subscribe. Uh, hit That's the what like you said? button. Hit the like button. Remember to subscribe. And if you don't remember, turn on that post notification. Hit that bell. Yeah, and donate at least twenty percent of your paycheck. Absolutely, Bernard. You know what That's saying? exactly what I'm I saying. gotta have good cards. <laughs> Shiny cardboard. Yeah, you guys want more deck profiles, right? It's only one way to do it. All right. With that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.